Persona 5X's demo releases today for Chinese audiences, leaving us Westerners high and dry without anything to sink our teeth into. But luckily, I have access to the Chinese forum. So with that ability, I shall now show off what they have had and left us out of the loop on. The first thing I want to cover is these cute little comic strips that have been getting shared with the Chinese fans. I'm going to be throwing that in Google Translate, translating it to English for us to enjoy. First one announced the P5X reservations officially opened, and I'm now going to read what it said. Hello players, I am Volp, the producer of P5X. You can also call me Uncle V, meeting you for the first time. It's a great honor to meet you in the first episode of P5X Small Theater. I don't know how to feel after watching our first PV. My favorite clips are the brand new Velvet Room, Handsome Personality Master Awakening, and the Joker Easter Egg at the end of the video. By the way, our protagonist is designed and drawn by Mr. Sojima Shiraki himself. If you want to get more relevant information, you can make an appointment for P5X and pay attention to our community account. We will answer you one by one in the follow-up. From there, we can move to the second comment which was called the true face of our mysterious protagonist. And I'll now read that one. I study hard at school. After school, I work hard at a Guidon restaurant to earn money to buy equipment. In a different world, I explore freely in the impression space, find secrets in the palace. Regardless of the real world or the different world, it is easy to handle. First meeting another me in P5X, please give me more advice on the future journey. Translation seems a little rocky, but I think the general message is conveyed. So both of these are cute little comics that are just cool, and I figured the Western audience would find interest in a translated version of them and just seeing what we've been missing out on. From there, we have the character info posts. These are posts that are about the various characters and reveal information about them. First, let's cover the newest one. This one covers the ability to gain new companions, which is clearly going to be on the gotcha side of the game. If you're not aware, P5X will contain gotcha mobile elements. These characters are pretty cool looking. One that looks like a female version of Joker, but I'll just show these on screen now and you can make what you will of them. From here, they had a big post that covers all three of the main characters. I'll now read this post. This is the protagonist, a boy in the second year of high school studying at Kiba Academy. Because of an unexpected event, the ability to manipulate the persona was awakened. My parents are traveling abroad for a long time and currently living alone at home in Jogisigaya, Tokyo. Go to school during the day and travel to different worlds after school. Why did he lead such a double life? Its purpose and reason are. The initial persona for this character is Yanoshiki, a mysterious creature that appears in front of the protagonist in the form of an owl. It can speak human language and can transform into a delivery van. It possesses a wealth of knowledge of other worlds, is common situations, is steady and self-reliant, and is very good and reliable partner. The initial persona for this character is Rob Roy. This character is interesting to say the least, this one being uh, Luffy, is even the Chinese forums uh, honestly seemed unhappy with him from what I was reading in their comments. They, they seem to view him as a weaker version of Morgana, which is pretty fair. Um, a second, and the next character, is a second year high school girl who attends Kiba Academy, the protagonist's classmate, and is an all-around sports girl. With a straightforward and cheerful personality, she is considerate of others and is very popular among male and female students in the school. She's better at acting intuitively than logically, and her academic performance is average. Because of a certain event, the ability to manipulate the persona was awakened. Her initial persona is Aravera. These characters also had posts of their own, bar this main summary post, but those posts just showed off more art of these characters and had the exact same summaries, and the art they showed off we've already seen as Westerners, so I didn't feel like it would be necessary to show off any of that. Next up though, we got some cool sketches from the team that I will now show off. The 
close out, we have some info on the project as a whole. For this, we can look at a message from the producer. Hello everyone, I am Old V, or Uncle V, the producer of this game. I am also a loyal fan of Atlas. It is a great pleasure to meet you here and introduce you to Persona Phantom of the Night, here and after referred to as Persona 5X, a new derivative mobile game based off the IP of Persona 5. At the beginning of the project, I was always full of excitement, anticipation, and pressure when I learned that I was going to make a P5 IP mobile game, because I am also a loyal fan of the P5 original series. I know its significance and value to us IP fans. As a masterpiece in everyone's mind, it will be a challenge to make a qualified derivative work. Fortunately, Atlas and Sega gave our team great support and help. The P5 original R&D team not only supervised the content we produced in strict accordance with the P5 standard, but also deeply participated in the creation of characters, stories, and music. In particular, Mr. Sojima Shengi personally helped us design the protagonist and the protagonist's exclusive personality mask, so the character design style of the P-series can be inherited and iterated in P5X. P5X also has a brand new plot and setting, and you will see various familiar scenes and characters. I believe that the joint appearance of these old and new elements can make everyone feel, fully feel, our enthusiasm and respect for this IP. In addition, the birth of P5X also hopes to attract more players to experience the charm of P5 through the mobile platform. Whether you're on the bus, in the subway, or on the sofa at home, you can sneak into another world anytime and anywhere, and embark on a journey of changing your mind. Here I would like to thank Atlas and Sega for their trust, support, and help in the process of in-depth cooperation and development. In detail and exchanges and discussions enabled us to give full play to our respective advantages to jointly create this world. I would also like to thank our team for the hard work day and night in the past few years. I hope we can all get what we want and bring a satisfactory work to the players. The first exposure and sneak tests are just the beginning, these referring to the beta. And there are still many designs and details that can be polished and optimized. Here I sincerely welcome any valuable comments and suggestions so that we can continue to improve and optimize. Your support and encouragement is the driving force for us to move forward. Thank you. And that closes out the message from the developer. Finally, on that post I mentioned earlier about the characters, they also gave a short blurb about the project as a whole, and that reads as follows. Persona Phantom of the Night, abbreviation P5X, is the Persona 5 IP authorized by Sega, fully supervised by Atlas, and deeply involved and created by Perfect World Games. That's a Chinese company. The first mobile game in the series, the game unfolds the story based on the worldview setting of P5 on the basis of deeply restoring the cool and cool style, it must have been a translation error, of the original work. The new characters and plots bring a new, wonderful experience. On the premise of faithfully inheriting the original dual cycle cool core gameplay of the Japanese student experience plus different world adventure experience, this game carefully provides users with a new P5 style, turn-based combat, and role-playing game experience. So overall, it seems like this project isn't really being developed by our main teams, just in cooperation with the main teams for Persona by a Chinese company. Overall, that is all I've got for you. A little showcase what the Chinese fans got that we didn't. If more information releases in the future, you know you'll hear it here. But until then, this has been Christopher Beast. I hope to see you all next time.